Well, hello, hello, hello. My name is Jay Johnson. I am a global business consultant out here in the Clearwater, Florida area, and I'm so elated to actually bring to you a very, very powerful panel. And I tell you what, I, I am I am sitting in, in awe because I'm around, surrounded by greatness. We are actually going to be doing an event called the Mental Health Roundtable event, and it's coming up very, very soon. We'd like to invite you all out to, uh, to share some of the information that you may have and to receive some information that we have as well so you can actually get past some of the mental illnesses. So I'd like to bring to the stage the one, the only, who the, one, the lady who brought, this, brought us all together. She is an inspirational speaker. She is a motivator. She is an author, a best-selling author at that. And I tell you what, she is a phenomenal friend as well. Please come to the stage, Miss Martha Dubois. Hello, hello, hello. That's right, here I am. Yes, um, we would definitely love to see your beautiful face and smile at the Mental Health Roundtable 2022. You know, Robin Sharman says that awareness precedes change. Think about it. If we don't know what we don't know, how, how will we ever be able to move forward? And this is what this roundtable is all about. It starts here. It doesn't finish here, but it starts here. Back to you. Mr. J. Johnson. Absolutely. It starts here. It starts with each and every one of us because so many people have a tendency to not understand what's going on with them when it comes to mental illness and they try to treat a mental illness with rational, with reason and things of that nature. And it just doesn't work. So if you're actually going through some things where you really need some help, this is the place that, that you want to be. I want to turn this over to Miss Kate. Miss Kate, can you go ahead and share a little bit of why it's so important to actually come to this event? Sure. I'm Kate Kunkel. I'm a brain health trainer. And from what I, where I come from as a Dr. Amen licensed trainer and somebody who studies mental health and psychology, and I treat people with many kinds of mental illness, I know that we have to, like Martha said, acknowledge it. You have to know what's going on, but it's not just in the ether. This is also in our brains. There are parts of our brain that are affected and affect us in negative ways. So my job here, and I'm hoping to share with everyone, is how we can analyze and see what's going on in the brain to help our mental health improve as well. And I'm so delighted to be with these people, a great honor. Thank you so much, Dr. Kate. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that we actually have a, a very experienced panel that's going to be able to share with you some information that's going to help you move forward in a very positive way. No more sitting in the dark and suffering in silence. We want to make sure that you are actually out there um, being very productive and positive in the environment. So we also have Miss Miriam, another um, inspirational speaker and author as well, that's going to share some information as well. Miss Miriam, take it away, please. Hello. Hi, I'm Miriam M. Wright. I'm a dream life coach. And are you suffering from forgetfulness? Do you know anyone in your family that might be suffering from dementia or Alzheimer's? I had to deal with my mom with that disease for three years. And I, I, I hope that you will join us and get some information, even if you're a caregiver or if you know any caregivers that are, that are taking care of um, elderly with dementia, not even elderly, because some of the young people are getting dementia now. Yes, yes. So please join us and get some information. You'll be so glad you did. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I love that you brought that up because the caregivers sometimes are the ones that are forgotten. We didn't forget about you this time. This is for you so you can actually get the proper support that you really need. Miss Linda Miller is out there as well that has a lot of experience when it comes to this as well. And she's going to share as well. Miss Linda, go ahead and take it away, please. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Linda Miller from Patterson, New Jersey. I'm a speech therapist by trade and I'm the owner of Happy Reading LLC. And I'm so excited to be a part of this great panel to get information to hear from myself and also to share some tips and tricks of how to get through and deal with it. And I'm so happy that uh, Ms. Miriam spoke about caregiver because I was a caregiver for my older sister for years and she no, is no longer with us. So I'm here to share information of how to get through and deal and just be a part of the group. I'm so excited. I hope you come and learn and share. Thank you so much, Miss Linda. Hey, you know what? We actually have someone else is here that's, that uh, is a writer. She's the editor. She's a book publisher. She has firsthand experience when it comes to uh, someone suffering with the mental, mental health. And I tell you what, she actually have a lot of answers as well. We're going to go out back out to Miss Haley to share a little bit of her information as well. Miss Haley, go ahead and take it away, please. 
Hey there, I am Haley Gray. I am the founder of Women's Entrepreneur Network. I am here on behalf of caregivers. I'm a mom of a kid with a traumatic brain injury, severe persistent mental illness, schizophrenia, and all fun kinds of fun stuff. We've navigated through so many hospitalizations, um, suicide attempt, homicidal ideations, all the things in you know, understand how many people are dealing with this kind of severity of mental illness and how it impacts the family, the other kids, um, and navigating the system can be a real doozy and, you know, helping you find the resources to help you get through it while not going crazy yourself. Wow, you are absolutely right, Ms. Haley. I tell you what, there's so many kids right now who are going through some suicide thoughts and they're going through um, massive depression and things of that nature and they're looking for a way out. They may not be able to talk to their parents. They may not be able to talk to their counselors, but you know what, you can bring them onto this line so they can actually get some real life solutions, okay? We actually have a Dr. Atoya out there who's going to share some information as well. So you are invited to get on this panel on, on Monday. Get on this panel on Monday. It is going to help you out. Dr. Otoya, go ahead and please share with us exactly why people should be here, please. It's so important. I am Dr. Otoya Hodges and I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I've spent over 25 years working in mental health as a therapist and now as a hypnotherapist. And I started working in psychosomatic healing because what I was realizing was so much of our unsolved emotions that we don't deal with turn into our body and cause sickness and disease. And so many people don't realize that all those things are correlated. And so during this panel, you're going to get to learn how your unresolved emotions and traumas turn into physical sickness and disease. And you will be able to start unpacking those things and start living the life that you truly, truly desire and want pain-free mentally, physically, and emotionally. Wow, that is so powerful. You know what? Uh, psychosomatic disease is, is such a very, very powerful thing. So this is a place where you can get the answers to remove some of that trauma, to remove some of those pains, those illnesses that's causing your, your body to break down, to shut down mentally, emotionally, and physically. So if you want, you definitely want to be here. Ms. Murtha, we thank you so much for putting this panel together. I am so looking forward to it. Please let us know exactly where people can go to get their ticket to get in start, get started with us on Monday. Ms. Murtha. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. Yes, I am excited about this round table. Listen, you've heard it here. There, you know, whether it's your, your caregiver, whether you're suffering, you know, with whatever it is that you're that you're suffering with or been diagnosed with, we have a panelist that will speak directly to you. But our panelists, we we will increase your awareness. Um, you will be able to receive support in this um, this group uh, of, 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 you know, in, in this conversation as well. Plus, we are here to encourage you and to empower you. We have it all here. We, we come together to bring you not just tips, but resources. We're going to share some stories. We may wipe our tears together. We're going to share some laughs. We are in this together. You are not alone. So, I ask you, I invite you, personally invite you to go to Eventbrite, look for Mental Health Roundtable 2022. I will also drop the link um, in the comment section or as, as well as social media. Look for me. I'll be having these lives for the next two or three days so that you feel invited. You feel like you need to be in this room because this is where it's all going to happen. That's going to be on Monday, May 30th, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 12 noon Eastern time. Um, it, this is going to be the place, remember, to ask the questions, um, to seek knowledge, not just from professionals, but your peers as well, someone who's been through what you're going through. See you there.